I'm a long way from home. Yo, bro, haven't seen your mug around here. The lucky thing we noticed you. Come on, man, spare us some change. We just need a little, man. We'll double it in no time in that gambling den over there. You're in my way. Move it. <laughs> and we were being friendly. I should have pulled this on you at the start. A body like that, and you gotta resort to a gun? Pathetic. Huh? To begin with, do I really look like I carry that much money on me? Ain't you Japanese? Most Asians stupid enough to come waltz around here are loaded. Come on, give me everything you got, or it's gonna be your brains on the floor. Be more careful who you pick your fights with. Oh, you bastard! Hmm. At least you know the basics. I gotta hand it to you for not abandoning your pal.
Make your dollars on the ground, gonna double up now. Yeah. Six to five to four to three, two, one more time. Heavy punch line about to prove. Damn, that was impressive stuff. What a fight! And against a man with a gun? Are you a ninja or something? Nah, that's not important. Where are the police? I'd have thought all the gunfire would catch their attention. <laughs> Things like that happen all the time. The only authority here is the cartel. Everyone who's not connected dies in poverty. That's been how it works for over 50 years. I see. Hey, why not stop in for a drink? It's on the house. Seeing what you did made my day. Are you sure? The cartel you mentioned might not like that. Hey, I'll get off easy compared to you. All I did was offer you a drink, not beat the hell out of their goons. Do you have the good stuff in stock? Huh? It's hard to obtain that certain something around here. I haven't had any for a couple days now. Actually, I'm starting to go into withdrawal. But what is it you're talking about, mister? Listen, I run a clean bar. Protein. I need a double shot of protein. Huh? Pro? Make it quick. It's only half as effective 30 minutes after I've burned some calories. Sorry, I don't know that brand. Is that some kind of sake? No. It's alright if you don't have any. <laughs> Looks like opportunity's knocking sooner than I expected. Fine with me. I haven't found any opponents worth my time here anyway. I can't wait to see what kind of challenge there is in store for me now.
morning. It's May 3rd, Constitution Memorial Day. Our top story today is an update on the hijacking two days ago. Five men attempted a daring hijacking of a domestic airline, the first such incident in Japan in the 21st century. Police began their official interrogation of the arrested suspects this morning. But all depositions have been vague so far, with suspects complaining of muddled memories. Psychiatric exams are being considered. That must be the incident she mentioned in her email. It's me. It's been a long time, Akihiko. I'm sorry to call you back on such short notice. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I was at a good stopping point. So, who's our next enemy? Don't be so impatient. You received the brief I sent you, right? What I didn't say directly in it is that the stolen cargo was from Ergo Research. I figured it would be Kiri Joe Group related, with you having to call me back. What was inside this cargo? The fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean... Yes, she's one of Igus's sister units. She was sealed at the time of the robbery, but we think it's very likely that she's been activated by now. Which means there's a good chance there'll be a fight. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this would be too much for the normal authorities. Sounds like it'll be right up my alley.
Fighting is not our first option, but I'd be more reassured with you there. We have a general idea of where it was taken, the Inaba area, where there were reports of suspected shadow activity last year. Okay, I'll meet up with you at the actual location. Are you heading directly there? You never change. Let me know if you need anything and I'll make the arrangements. Protein, that's all. W what No, it's better I don't ask. I'll send you the precise location later. Sorry to call when you've just returned from a trip, but I'm relying on your assistance. You went to a lot of trouble to create the Shadow Operatives. I won't do anything to tarnish the name. I'll see you there. Almost time. something happen? I doubt she'd run into any trouble she couldn't handle, though.
<sighs> of course. They'd stand out no matter where they were, so they could only park here. It's the same as mine. It's hard to say definitively since this is my first encounter with it, but I believe this reading is from a personality module. Does that mean our retrieval target is inside the TV? Huh. Sounds like fun. Is that... Akihiko? <laughs> you didn't show up at the rendezvous point, so I went looking and found you here. <laughs> this whole TV thing is pretty interesting. Akihiko, what on earth are you wearing? Just what were you doing overseas? Huh? Didn't I tell you that I was on a training expedition? Don't tell me you came here from the airport like that. Does the concept of keeping a low profile mean nothing to you? Mitsuru-san, I believe we have lost the right to complain about that. Anyway... We can get inside from that TV, right? And what are we waiting for? Still the same Akihiko. We don't know the situation inside yet, and we'll need a secure means of getting out. So what? If we want to get this Labyrus back, someone has to go inside, right? Well, that's... Our target hijacked a plane to throw her into a TV in this town. If we sit on our hands, it's possible we'll be put in serious danger. We're different from how we used to be. We made the choice to fight shadows as professionals. That's why I traveled around the world and trained harder than ever. And now that something's actually come up, you're hesitating? We agreed to do this. I'm ready to stake my life on the mission.
All right. Wait right here. I need to go make a phone call first. Okay. Make it quick. Fists are ready for action. The other members will wait here in the car. Yeah. If we all barge in and something happens, we'll be devastated. Now that you mention it, at least one of us should be staying behind as well. I am not staying. <laughs> <laughs> us three will be plenty. We'll end this in a flash. No problem. <laughs> the same as always. Although... Huh? We have no idea what might be waiting for us on the other side. Don't get careless. Right. <clears throat> this situation... It brings back memories. <laughs> Ready! Why enter the TV? What's going on? Is this a gym? This feeling in the air reminds me of somewhere, though.
There's a weird guy in a cape! Uh, you think you've got the right to call me weird? <laughs> you seem suspicious. How rude! I'll say the same back to you! Being half naked and wearing a cape is totally suspicious! <gasps> Could this be the pervert I've heard rumors about? My innocence is in danger! You're making no sense at all. Who are you? Oh, don't tell me. Are you a shadow? Huh? I'm Teddy! Teddy! So you are a shadow. I just said I'm Teddy! Teddy! It's easy! Uh, no bear has fur that color. Or can talk. How cruel! I'm an adorable, sexy beast, no matter what angle you're looking from! wandering about on your own. You're such a troublesome bear. You're the troublesome one! How dare you do whatever you want while looking like me! It's a violation of my image rights! What's going on? Are you twins or something? Huh? I've discovered an unknown half-naked caged man! An intruder! A unexpected! A unex... 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 ex... ex... Case 04, Unintended Intruder, Entering Elimination Process. Huh. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've seen enough. Looks like you're the enemy here, bear number two. As for you, Teddy Teddy, he seems to be your enemy too, but why don't you step down and let me handle him? No way! What? I mean, who are you? You haven't even told me your name! And that bear might be a bad guy who tricked my beloved sensei and friends! I can't leave this in the hands of a half-naked cape man like you! Well, your costume is strange. I do like that fire in your eyes. What's that? 
that supposed to mean? It sounds perverted coming from a half-naked cave guy! Hey, I have a name. It's Akihiko Sonata. You don't have to call me half-naked cape guy. And I know I can't prove I'm on your side just by saying so. So judge for yourself whether I'm worthy of your trust. In the ring. You're that excited to do this? Fists don't lie, you know? Now come on, and I'll give you everything I got. Persona! Intruder is a Persona user. Difficulties in elimination. Acknowledging as valid target. Persona user? Are you talking about me? What do you mean by valid target? Irregularity has occurred. Multiple intruders detected. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, I know! I've just had a fun idea! Hey, Teddy, Teddy, wake up. No! Kanji! You're crushing me to death! Teddy, Teddy, wake up! I went a little too far. Let me at least talk to you. I have important business here too. I need as much information as I can get. Aren't you going to say sorry? Don't push your luck, or I'll pull out all your fur. I was just joking! Well, I am a knowledgeable bear, so I'll make an exception for you and listen. The moment 
First off, what kind of world is this? This, it's the TV world. That's hard to believe. But even if that's true, why does it look like this? Is this supposed to be a school or something? This is probably the school that Yosuke and the others go to. It's a real place? This world changes whenever someone comes here. I'm not sure why it's a school now, though. It changes when people come here. I used to live here for a long time, so I saw it happen a lot. You lived here? Well, does that mean you're from this world? What are you? <laughs> That's, uh... There's so much I don't understand. But I can at least say I'm pretty sure you're no threat. Of course not! I'd never cause anyone any trouble! If you know this world so well, does the name 5th Generation... Labrys sound familiar? I've never heard of it! Every day's great at Juness! I usually spend my time there. But when I came to, I was locked up here! I managed to escape, though. Only to find that an imposter Teddy was causing a bunch of trouble with his P1 Grand Prix! <laughs> That guy who showed up on screen looked exactly like you. He calls himself a general! But don't confuse me for that phony! Real Teddy is made of all natural bear fur. If that was someone in disguise, there must be a reason he's trying to look like you. Ooh, I know! It must be because he's jealous that Sensei and everyone love me the most! But he's not one one millionth as cute as me! Anyone can tell he's a fake! Alright, one last question. You said you used to live here. Do you know how to get out? Of course! That was one of my specialties! I always helped other people when they needed to leave. But it's not working here for some reason. I'm losing my confidence. This is one bear of a headache. Ooh, that was an advanced joke! <laughs> this is no laughing matter. I won't be able to get out like this.
That's it. You're coming with me. made me lose my head! Looks like there's a wall that I can get through, but you can't. What a bizarre place this is. Says the half-naked kid guy who pulled at my head so hard it almost came off! Oh well, I'll have to leave you here. Make sure you don't go anywhere alone, you hear me? Come back for you when all this is settled. Yasagami High School. I remember seeing that name in the report on Inaba.
one fired up crowd! Hi everyone! I, Rizette, will be your commentator! But first, the general would like to say a few words! The mic's all yours, sir! I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Presenting the manliest of all men! Oh, so you've come this far! I applaud your bravery in not running away! Still hiding behind a monitor? It's about time you showed up in person. I'll crush you. Nope, sorry, but I'm not falling for a cheap ploy like that. Better follow the rules! Allow me to explain. The P1 Grand Prix is a one-on-one -on -one battle. Those who are paired off must fight. Only the winner may move on. Huh. Interesting. Who are you gonna make me fight? They. I don't have to answer that. Sorry, but I don't have time to play along. I'm taking back Labrys. You are? <sighs> don't think everything's gonna be that easy for you. You all should suffer, and suffer, and then suffer some more! It won't be easy, huh? Whatever. I never expected it to be. This is what I'd figure another world would be like. Huh. Hmm?
I knew it. Whoever set this up only thought about blocking people's paths. Anywhere there already was a real wall got overlooked. Then I'll just go another way. Whoa! What the? Who are you? Huh? You're that guy from the video. Did you just come falling from up there? What's going on? Answer me! I remember now. You're the... The blood-curdling beefsteak emperor. Hell no! Come on! Did you even try to remember my name? So that P1 Grand Prix thing has already started. Hey, take off your clothes. Oh, what the hell? How can you ask that straight out? What's wrong with what I said? Won't it be hard to... maneuver wearing that? Maneuver? What are you all flustered for? I'm talking about your jacket. If you don't wear it right, it'll get in your way during the fight. Oh, my jacket? Someone just said that to begin with? There's no real meaning behind this. It's like just the way I wear it. It's plain weird. Says the guy who's half naked except for a cape. Seriously, you're ridiculous. It's bad manners to jump out a window like that. Sorry to say, I've never been big on manners. Too bad things didn't go your way. <laughs> we'll see if you can keep that attitude up for long. You must fight whoever you're paired with. Now get started! Saying the weirdest crap. It's like I'll have to make you leave. Let's get this started, KP. What, now you're interested? Alright. Come and get me. You're not really strong anyway. Just a fake. Nothing worthy about it. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up! Try to ask yourself that. Here it goes.
<laughs> it's amazing. So this is what you meant by going at it with nothing to hide. When did I say that? One passionate guy. Guess you're no ordinary pervert. Oh, since when am I a pervert? For a dream, this sure hurts. Huh? That's weird. Look at a dude I've never met before is here in my dream. A dream? What are you talking about? Aren't we inside the TV world? Huh? The TV world. <laughs> you can dream with your eyes open. I'm pretty impressed. What? I'm inside the TV? I seriously thought this was all a dream! Hey, do you have any idea who the other people in that video were? They were pretty much all my friends, but... Oh, crap. I thought this was a dream, so I kinda sorta beat the snot out of a couple of them. Well, if they lost to someone who was half asleep, they'll just have to suck it up. You think so? Things are just that black and white to you, huh? Wait, this isn't a dream. Then Ted and Reese are really hosting it? General Teddy. The other Teddy said that he was a fake. A fake? Kid me! How'd he make such a perfect copy of the bear suit? That's the part you're hung up on? But yeah, yeah. They're hardly twisted bastards who enjoy watching friends crush each other. You seem pretty sure of your friends. <laughs> Man, the things I went through with those guys. And here I thought you were a pervert who wasn't listening to a word I said. Guess I had you figured wrong. By the way, have you heard the name Labrys anywhere? She's supposed to be somewhere in here. Huh? Labrad? What? I see. Uh, if you don't know, don't worry about it. Hey, hey, wait a second! You haven't told me anything about you! Who are you? What did you come inside the TV for? There's no point in explaining. Well, I was the loser here, so I can't complain. This isn't a dream, and my friends are in trouble. I know. I won't let anything happen to him. <laughs> the way you fought says it all. You can't throw punches like that without a shitload of training. I could feel your determination behind every one. Yeah. The same's true for you. Good work.
Uh, you should be careful. My friends are hella strong, you know? If you're not careful, you'll be eating pavement. I don't know about that. My fists can't be stopped that easily. This is pointless. Guess they fixed that little loophole. No more breaking the rules! Seriously, why can't some people follow simple directions? You act like I ever intended on following your rules. Akihiko, you're all right. Then again, seeing you isn't necessarily cause for celebration. If we're both here in one place, that means... Yeah, looks like it. So, you're my next opponent. This is exactly what the enemy wanted. Ta-da! Well, this is about to get real interesting! Unwanted battle between friends. I hope you two enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> Is that supposed to upset us? Can you believe this guy, Mitsuru? I'm sorry, Akihiko. I believe I may have driven you into a corner. Huh? What do you mean? I should have realized much sooner. It's not strength you truly desire. What you really want is to forget your fear of losing others. That's why you throw yourself so fervently into your training. It's a twisted form of escape. At the very least, you can allow me to put an end to such things. Teddy, Teddy, and Kanji also started getting personal before the fight. Is this some kind of trick? I 
got no idea what you're talking about. Sounds to me like she means it. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to here, but you're gonna have to try harder. That's fine, though. I'll just take this chance to enjoy some serious sparring. There were a bunch of people I wanted to fight once I got back to Japan, to test my skills. And you were at the top of the list, Mitsuru. <laughs> Didn't think I'd get a chance so soon, though. Here goes, Akihiko. Come and get me, Mitsuru! I yield. Your skills have improved tremendously, Akihiko. Yours too. I was really worried there that you might execute me. Mitsuru, what did I say to you before the fight? Huh? Why do you ask? As I recall, you said some unkind things about my late father. without holding back like that. People hesitate more when they face their friends. They break down. They suffer. So how come you aren't suffering? Why? I don't understand. I'm not surprised. Anyone who needs to trick people to get his way wouldn't understand. Our bonds aren't that flimsy. Akihiko, let's compare notes. I want to confirm our situation. Right. Although I don't have much for you.
Did you find Labrys? Igus seems to have made contact with her. She seems to be calling herself the student council president of the school. In fact, she's going so far as to play the part. Play the part? She seems to be unaware that she entered a TV. It's possible that someone forced her in here, but that doesn't explain why she's acting out a role in school life. And one more thing. I heard a strange voice. I'm not certain, but it's most likely Labrys. Either her inner thoughts or her memories. It was a voice of deep sorrow, suffering, sadness. It was so vivid I wanted to cover my ears. If that was truly Labrys, then she's practically human. She may not be that far behind Igus in terms of mimesis. Sure, Igus' sister unit would have a mind. But does that mean the older version is more advanced? Doesn't seem likely, but I can't say for certain. Still, I'm only speculating, but I feel like her deeply negative emotions are connected to this tournament. Connected how? Hmm. Do you really think Labrys was stolen? The General seemed to want to make us suffer rather than eliminate us. Would a thief wish for that? Or draw in unrelated high school students? I see. That General Teddy's actions do seem in line with what Labrys wants. He actually may in fact be Labrys. It's possible that Labrys regained consciousness much earlier and escaped when she was being transported. Mitsuru, you're doing your brow furrowing thing again. What? That doesn't matter right now. You're overthinking things. All this conjecture and speculation will drive you nuts. Let's pick this up again once we defeat the enemy. Think that maybe it's you who's underthinking things? Uh, anyway, there's no time to lose right now. You know where the enemy is, right? Yes, I've traced its location. It should be nearby. I will leave the rest to you, Akihiko. Don't disappoint me, all right? Ha! Of course not. The announcement room. Here we go.
here. So it wasn't Labrys after all. Shadow, the, the true, true self. Another Labrys. Fine. I'll just calm them both down. <laughs> Why did it have to be now? Who the hell are you? We've come to take you in. Would it clear things up if I mentioned the name Kirijo? I need to go after them. You're better off forgetting what you just saw. W wait You can't just... Hold it right there, Buster!
you're gonna tell me what's going on! What good would that do you? What? Uh, uh... I'm here on a certain mission. <laughs> you could even call it a duty. My resolution is nothing like yours, based on curiosity. A duty? <sighs> that ridiculous Grand Prix is still going on. What? Wait, you mean... Do we? That's what you get for coming after me so recklessly. The rule that one opponent must be defeated is still in effect. Ah. Alright, I accept. Huh. Why are you willing to go to such lengths to catch up to Labrys? I don't know why. I just know that she was in pain. I don't know if my reasons are better or worse than yours, but I can't turn my back on her. To answer your question, what you saw was the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, Labrys. She was given a heart so she could use a persona. A weapon? Then she really is a robot. But she's so cute. And she even sounds like a normal girl. what her lost memories were about. And since she has a heart, she has a shadow, too. She has a shadow? Do you mean the thing where there's two of her? Get it now. The mastermind behind all this isn't Labrys, but her shadow. I think that's it anyway. But I wonder what's with this tournament. What could she have wished for to make this happen? I have some suspicions about that. Labrys may have been forced to do some inhumane things while she was in development. Her original circumstances may be related to the setup of this Grand Prix. This tournament is a reenactment of what Labrys went through in her past? That's all I can tell you. If you still want to search for her, you'll have to defeat me to move on. What'll it be? I...
If Labrys wished to make us go through what she went through, that means she wanted to be understood. She wanted someone to save her. That's just your guess, though. But if it's possible I'm right, then I can't abandon her. That's why I won't go back until I've saved her. Her heart is worth fighting for. What's your name? Mine's Akihiko Sanada. I'm Chie Satanaka, a third year at Yasagami High. I like the fire in your eyes. Then let's fight and see whose passion comes out on top. Like I win. God damn it, this sucks. I lost. Oh well. Hey, Chie, you don't get to go search for Labrys like you wanted and you're laughing? Well, I figured either way you'd save her. Labrys, I mean. Um, can I ask you to give her a message? Please tell her I said I was sorry. For saying such cruel things and doubting her. Let her know I really want to talk with her when this is all over. Um, and, uh, oh, um, uh, anyway, just tell her I apologize. Yeah, I'll let her know. I need to thank you, Chie. Huh? On my way here, I was told that my strength was fake. That I was just immersing myself in training to escape my fear of losing others. That I was just sticking my head in the sand. And that was true. The reason I'm so hard on myself is because I'm scared. That might be a weakness of mine. But watching you made me realize, it's okay to be like that. No, I don't want to lose anyone again, ever. But that's how I can become stronger. Sheer raw strength is pointless. Getting the ability to see your deepest wishes through is true strength. Uh, that's a little abstract. But I guess it's a compliment? Though I still feel a little embarrassed about it. <laughs> Wait here for me. I'll bring Labrys back no matter what.
Once this is all over, I should go see him too. Come with me. I won't let you get hurt. I'm never going back there. I never want to get put through that again. I'm going to run away. Just you watch me. And where will you go? Is that how you're going to solve everything? <laughs> you won't even listen, huh? Fine. I didn't think anything I said would be enough to earn your trust. So come at me with everything you've got. I'll accept you for who you are. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty dangerous looking electric fan you've got there. down. This is your shadow. It's you, isn't it? Understand. 
if he read your group created you as a tool. Of course, that's the only way they can think of you. Not that you're any better. You didn't hesitate at all to attack him. It just shows your true colors. <laughs> you want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you had to go through. Right? That's why we're in a school, having a fighting tournament? You want to see close friends fight for their lives against each other. Because if they do that, then they might understand. You want to make them understand. That ain't true! But it was no use. They didn't understand and kept getting in your way. It's all right, man. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll take care of everything from here. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Just like you once did. Stop it! That's all a lie. You're not me. Think I'm gonna make it that easy? What's that? You want to be destroyed that badly? Then I'll save her for later and crush you now! I swore I'd protect Labrys. And I'm not gonna lose what I'm protecting ever again. Now. Come get me! Shut up, Kirito Dog! with that face. Stand up and look at me. I have a message for you from Chie. Huh? She wanted to apologize for doubting you and hurting your feelings. She was really sorry about what she said. She wanted to tell you herself too. 
She was so determined to save your heart that she threw everything she had at me. Chiesun said that. Also, Mitsuru, the girl in charge of the Kirijo group, learned what happened to you and was mortified to hear of it. Do you still think no one understands? That your pain is unique to you? I never thought of things like that. I never imagined anyone understood me. But... That's... I don't know anymore. What am I supposed to believe? I don't know much about how you suffered in the past, or how many times your heart was broken. But don't give up. Believe in yourself and keep standing up to the world. No matter how many times you fail, some things you have to grasp for yourself. Myself? That's right. If there's something you really want, fight for it. You'll never get it by running away. What's your strongest desire? I... I... people to understand how I feel. Then there's someone you need to tell that to. And that's yourself over there. Get it? That's what you've been saying this whole time. In your own way. Yeah. I understand now. Persona. 
So this is the other me. It's not easy accepting yourself. But you managed to get past that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. We should get going. You have some things you want to tell Chie too, right? Or should I call you Labyrinth? Jason. Sorry, who are you? I'm liking that look you've got going on. It's like you just single-handedly saved the world from an evil army. Yosuke, don't be so rude! Akihiko-san, thank you for saving Labrys. No need to thank me. I just delivered the message you left me with. Are you all right, Akihiko? It seems my sister has also forged a bond. That takes you back, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Though I am a machine, I understand what it means for people's hearts to come together. I would definitely like for my sister to learn that as well. Are you thinking of sealing my sister away again? Don't tell me you're going ahead with that. I know you're in a delicate position, but I have serious issues with this. No, you misunderstand. I realize full well the situation here. That's not what I was thinking about. What's bothering me is that the true culprit in this case never did show their face. What? Didn't Labrys say she escaped here on her own? That's what I thought most likely at the time, but that scenario doesn't match what we've learned since then. How did Labrys learn about this world? Why did she call in these other Persona users? 
You had some basic investigation done on Inaba, right? If she regained her consciousness a while ago, it's possible she infiltrated your network and found out about that stuff. That's not my only doubt. Labrys's ability to cloud others' senses can only go as far as creating hallucinations. That's inconsistent with the ability to control people so thoroughly as to make them risk their lives in a hijacking. There's too much that doesn't add up. That does seem suspicious. Lapras, how did you escape all the way here? Huh? I was inside a chamber and... Get back! Akihiko, buy me some time! You got it! Labrys, I will protect you no matter what! Looks like I managed to keep her intact. Resorted to your fists in the end, after all. That's why people say your strength is fake. What is that? It's another Akihiko-san? Whoa! Is that Akihiko-san's shadow? You go on and on about resolve and whatnot. 
What have you been doing these past few years? Just training yourself to fight better, that's all. You haven't grown at all as a person. You're still running from your fear of losing people, just like before. So you are watching us. Looks like the mastermind of this thing has a lot of time to kill. Huh? Mastermind? What are you talking about? I came from the sea of your soul. Enough. You think you rattle me with that tired old theme? So you won't admit it. Then, rise again, my puppet. Dance. Till you shatter! Looks like you've shown your stripes already. That power proves you're not my shadow. <laughs> so what? You still have no choice but to suffer. Unless you destroy this thing, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? Sad to say, but this show is over. What? It means we won't fall for the same trick again. Yamagishi, now! Are you all okay? Fuka-san? Is this like Risa-chan's persona? Wait, where is she? This feeling... what the... That voice... It's not coming from in here! Whoever it is, is out there! Seriously? She can use hers in the real world? That's amazing! That's not your shadow, Akihiko-senpai! It's just a fake mimicking your appearance! <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive to guess correctly from such a long distance away. You must be the one behind all this. You stole Labrys and threw her into a TV. You were after Persona users from the start. That's why you chose this school and tampered with Labrys's memories. And you just demonstrated how you controlled those hijackers. Why did you go after these students? What are you up to? Personas, Personas and shadows are one and the same. same. If, if I poison your hearts, I, I can, can recruit, recruit shadows, shadows with unparalleled strength. Wait, what? You mean, turn our personas back to shadows? The heart is frail. Its, it's weaknesses, weaknesses are never fully vanquished. Given the opportunity, it can betray you and return to darkness. Old wounds that you thought you would overcome opened once again. You almost let go of your hearts, your personas. This one's desire to make people suffer was perfectly suited for such a plan. Plan? You caused all this to gather strong shadows? Why would you do such a thing? That's enough. I see now that there's no room for any more excuses.
You said before that I couldn't cast aside my fears. But I'll tell you something. People who have no fears end up dying early or throwing their lives away. My determination coexists with my fears. I know that death and loss are always close by. Do you still say you're my shadow? My determination would never leave my side. to drive back a guard once. I didn't think you'd resist this fiercely. <laughs> this is fine with me. Good enough for my purposes. I've confirmed you have enough power to meet my expectations. Good enough, my ass. Who do you think you are? You're really pissing me off! I doubted there'd be any meaning in changing my appearance. But sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. I will see you in another guise next time. Just wait until then. <laughs> Yamagishi! The reading disappeared. It didn't move, it just vanished. What could this mean? <laughs> back to square one again. Bullshit! Don't you ever come back again! Still, what was it planning on using our persona powers for? It hasn't given up, right? We'll see it again.
Don't worry about it. We'll handle things from here. Wait, but it kind of said it was still after us. Of course. You should be aware that the enemy is out there. Akihiko only means that there is no need to abandon your lives to pursue it. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is, after all, our duty. The battle will go on, huh? I'm glad things went well. Oh, but first, it's good to see you again. This is becoming a real reunion. They were certainly a lively bunch to the very end. It's only a matter of time. I promised Chie and the rest that I'd definitely come back. Mitsuru, may I talk to you? What is it? It's unlike you to be so formal. This won't be any time soon, but I'm thinking of leaving the Shadow Operatives eventually. What? Huh? May I ask why? There's something I want to do now. I can't do it while I'm part of an unofficial group like this.
I see. I think you would be well suited to it, Akihiko-san. Of all the things you were going to say, that's it. What? What do you mean, that's it? Even I know it's pretty ordinary, but... Whether you man a police box or become a career officer, you should do it. And if you do, then I'll consider your circumstances, to an extent, whenever I need you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you planning on making me belong to two departments at once? You wouldn't use the Kirijo name for that, would you? Bite your tongue? I won't do anything. But even if I don't, it'll happen on its own. You underestimate the organization's need for you. Leaving that aside, if you're going to wish to become something like that, then there's something you need to do first. You're right. I need to train more and... No, I meant going back to college. Do not worry, Akihiko-san. I will calculate the units and time necessary for graduating, and plan the most effective curriculum for you. I'll be counting on you, I guess. I've been thinking this for a while now, but Akihiko seems to need someone to manage him. I'm honored. <sighs> Another triumph in your face. <laughs> Someone's in trouble! <laughs> <laughs>